Well, you know, we pride ourselves on covering important health issues and nothing is off limits. So a few weeks ago, I answered listeners' questions about a topic that's extremely important to at least most of us, sex. But due to time constraints, I could only get to about half of the questions I wanted to answer. And since that episode aired, many listeners wrote in asking for a second episode on sexual health. So today I'm picking up where I left off on this encore episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast. I'll answer listeners' questions about healthy genitals, libido, and so much more. So stay tuned. You might be surprised by some of my answers, or maybe all of my answers. So you know how to take care of your heart, brain, and gut, but your genitals are important too, just as every other part of your body. So I'm gonna share how you can keep your genitals as healthy as can be. So here's a few questions from Instagram on that topic. I struggle with constant yeast infections. How do I deal? So here's the deal. Yeast infections seem to be a very common problem with women. And first thing you have to know is that we now know that there is a vaginal microbiome, just like there's a gut microbiome, just like there's a skin microbiome. And that microbiome is actually a very important factor in your overall health, if you're a woman listening, and also really contributes to your reproductive ability. It turns out that one of the things that the vaginal microbiome does or does not do is make you fertile or less fertile can, can actually kill off your partner's sperm if that's what they want to do and the wrong bugs are living in there. And pay attention. So what about yeast infections? Well, the vast majority of yeast infections that I see in my patients usually follow, number one, a round of antibiotics for a completely different reason, whether it was you had the sniffles and your doctor gave you a z pack or anything else, or you had a bladder infection, and that, whether you knew it or not, totally changed your vaginal microbiome. Now, yeast, candida, is a normal inhabitant of your gut and of your vagina and even of your skin and your mouth. But when you kill off all the other bacteria and fungi that keep that yeast in balance, then that yeast has a field day and overgrows. Let me give you an example. In heart surgery, we would always give patients antibiotics following heart surgery. And a number of these patients would develop a yeast infection of their mouth called thrush or a yeast infection of their esophagus, which could often be devastated. I actually wrote a paper about it years ago. And it was following antibiotics that this always started. Now, there are antifungal, anti-yeast antibiotics. Most of you know them as Nystatin is the most common one. And yes, you can kill off a yeast infection with Nystatin. And many times we have to resort to using these vaginal troches of Nystatin uh, to do the job. But the point is,